today I'm here with Thomas. Hi, Thomas. Hello, hello. Uh, so yeah, we're Decubed. We do actuators and deployable structures for mostly for CubeSats, hence the Cubed in the name, uh, but also for plenty of other missions and applications like lunar rovers or deep, deep space exploration. Um, and these are our actuators. These are release actuators designed for holding things down and releasing them when they need to operate in their environment. Um, so this is a release nut that holds down an M3 bolt. And when you uh, activate it with... Uh, ah, we'll do the pin puller for the activation. The pin puller uh, is just a pin that extends and you hold something down from the side like blocking a rotational motion. And then uh, when you need to unlock that motion, it retracts. And one of the beautiful things, um, I don't have a release, a reset tool on me very easily. And there, it's reset and ready to test again. So in space, one of the critical things is uh, testing the same hardware on the ground that you're going to fly. So uh, you always want to make sure that you can test and then reset and te uh, test again before you fly it. And every minute that you waste testing is a lot of money spent on um, uh, test facilities, for example, when you're having to have the TVAC chamber booked out. Uh, some other devices, it takes hours and hours to reset them. And that's money that you're just throwing down uh, the drain waiting for it to reset. Um, and so that's one of the key, key advantages to our products. We also scale them up. Um, and it's the same mechanism. This is also the same internal mechanism in the release nut, uh, scaled up to be able to handle higher forces. Um, and these are the critical enabling technologies to big deployable structures like um, uh, solar panels, for example, all need a release mechanism like this. Uh, also deployable booms, radiators, or if we're talking about the next generation of space applications, you have things like solar sails for deep, deep space exploration, or uh, even for dropping uh, rovers onto the surface of the moon or Mars, you need uh, release mechanisms. Uh, you can actually watch uh, the, when Perseverance uh, dropped the uh, rover down, it was a really complex series of release mechanisms that were very similar to these that were actually releasing it and dropping it onto the surface. So um, the release nut is going to be going to the moon to do something very similar. And uh, these other products are being used for deploying satellites uh, from the rocket into their orbits and also for deploying uh, different uh, experiments uh, in orbit as well. Cool. And uh, what's the mechanism behind this actuator? Okay. Yeah, yeah, of course. So it's a shape memory alloy based mechanism. Ah. So we use a, a special type of metal that um, when you deform it, it kind of remembers its shape, hence shape memory. Uh, and when you heat it up, then it returns to that original shape. So we take advantage of this really cool property of the metal uh, that we can deform it with a spring. And then uh, when we heat it up, it retracts against that spring and then you have a, a mechanism. Nice. Really interesting. Tumaf, thank you thank for you explaining that. <laughs>